What's going on, everybody? Wait. Welcome to the weekly plugin. The, the, the bi weekly plugin. <laughs> the every once in a while plugin. Hey, we're here now. That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. Where is your hat? It's over here. Put your hat on. Your skull is reflecting the light. Super shiny. Look, see, look at that. Look, 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 look at how much darker the screen just got just because Drew put his hat on. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the plug in. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember what number this is. Like 65, I think. 66. Something like that. In the 60s. Uh, so finally got almost uh, caught up with putting all the stuff on YouTube. <laughs> all the FNWs anyway. Yeah. I only got like one more after this. I got one should be done by now. I can put one more in than the one we did tonight. My internet finally started to start working a little bit better. 49 subscribers. 65. Still waiting on that 50th. I thought we had a 50 at one point. I think we made a big deal about it and then the next day. Yeah, <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> Stick around. What's wrong with you? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, sorry we didn't, we weren't here last week. We had some... Were we here the week before? Serious scheduling conflicts. Yeah, we did Thursday the week before. Last week you went over... It went... You switched to overnight. And, uh... I was on the verge of quitting my job. And, uh, so yeah, it was just kind of... It was pretty chaotic. But we're back! And hopefully Whoa. things are gonna calm down a little bit. Not with Sid so much, because he's still working overnight, but... Yeah. Loser, but hopefully for me things will. I don't know. It may job not. It may be based. worse because the job I'm getting is very customer based. But um, but we'll yeah, see. we're not spooky no more. <laughs> they do that one. There you go. Set it up for Veterans some Day. Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Hopefully, a veterans got some much needed love. If you know a veteran, go give him a hug. I'll give him a hug. Give him a handshake. Tell him thank you. Thanks for your service. Especially if it's an older vet, because I feel like like they got the worst. And well, that and especially then, like in the ones in their fifties yeah, and sixties right yeah. now. Well, even then, like, yeah, just give them all, all of them. Because I mean, yeah. how really underappreciated now? Because now the I think to me now the older vets are appreciated more, and yeah. the older vets are just like, eh, whatever. You yeah, signed that's up for true. It. All right, like. Still. Like you chose to do yeah, that. Well, you I do, yeah. Chose to do that so you didn't have to, dickhead. Yeah. I hate it when people have like attitude towards like veterans and stuff like that. It's like I hate dude. It when people have attitude towards people just trying to do what they do. Yeah. Whether it's jobs or What's that? people go out there and stuff. sacrifice yeah. their safety, their lives every single day so you can not have to. Right. I mean, at least show a little bit of respect. You don't have to agree with what they're doing. You don't have to like them or what they're doing, but you but can at least have some respect. It. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll see you out yeah, there. Right? Well, I'm handy. Yeah, well, they are too because of what they did. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, show some love, man. Show some yeah. love some better. Happy Veterans Day. We appreciate you. We're here at FN Gaming. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, what's that? What's that you got pulled up there, Jake? Are oh, you talking about this? Uh, talk about that. Wait. So if you're watching us on uh, here, uh, we have a, a YouTube channel what at youtube.com for us out during that intro. Oh. I was jumping way ahead. No, I was jumping way ahead. Um, so what's up, everybody? Welcome to FN Gaming. Uh, <laughs> no, we're starting the intro. Oh. Uh, welcome to FN Gaming. We have a YouTube channel. If you're watching this here on Twitch, we have a YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash F and gaming. You can watch all of our content, all of our back channels, all of our back shows and and logs and stuff that we've been doing. Uh, finally, like I said, finally, hopefully getting caught up mostly. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, we also have a Twitch channel at twitch.com forward slash F and gaming. And you come hang out with us and talk to us. And we also, for the first time this week, uh, did a Facebook? Are we still doing? Are we still on Facebook no, Live? No. Okay. Uh, we did it for the FNW Thursday night. No, we did it live on Facebook. So that's uh, something that we might 
be looking into starting to do here. Hopefully. We had one person say hey to one or two people say hey. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're doing that. And if you like stuff, we have stuff to sell you at the merch store at fngamingstore.com. Which is what they were talking about a while ago. Well, Sid's wearing his effing gaming shirt. Is it just effing game? Yeah, it's yeah. effing gaming. We have uh, one FNW merch up there, but we're going to be putting some more up there as we get it. Eventually. Eventually. We got socks, we have a sweaters, we have phone cases, we have tumblers, we have fan packs, Cup cups, shirts, socks, lots of drinking tools. Yeah, we got some, we got some cool stuff. Get the prices as low as we can. We're not trying to gouge nobody. You just we don't make a lot off of it. We just want to share. I want you to advertise for us, or if you just like us, you know, looking for something. Keep you warm, keep you from being naked, or something. Put your stuff in your fanny pack. Uh, you know, come check this stuff out. They different colors, white. Not just all the white and black is on there, but you, some of our stuff have has a bunch of different colors you can pick. I think Sid's is gray. Mine's is gray. Yeah, I picked I picked gray just because I think the only other it was like white or red or uh, I think blue. Blue, black. Oh, that's purple. Yeah, no, purple. Purple, red, black, and yeah. I didn't know how well the, shirt. I didn't know how well the black would have come through. So I was like, "Well, it looks good there, but I think it should look great." That's good. The the, the E and the N on F in it is yeah. kind of hard to see. Other than that, not too bad. I like. Yeah, I, mean, I do like it. Yeah, if you're looking for something to kind of something to wear, or something to have, put your drinks in. You can check out our. Merch store. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I finally uh, Nan went to bed, didn't she? I was gonna talk to her about this on here. Nan, Nan, Nan. Drew needs you. Drew needs you. you. <laughs> Mine. I think she was comfy. Oh, don't worry about it. You're on the couch. Anyways, I was gonna talk like I finally finished Squid Games, oh, I... and it's a uh, it's a pretty good show. I, I liked it, and, it, and there it looks like they're looking for, to do a season two already. Like they're already about to start production on it. I'm excited about that. It's, yeah, it's all it, it actually. I'm sorry, sorry I go. It's actually like it's caught them up a lot to Disney because Disney was blowing them out for a while, but this hit has uh, kind of brought them back up up out of the ashes a little bit and then they're about to do stranger things so i'm seeing a lot more coming in from netflix yeah it's a pretty good show what is a squid games oh yeah i, I watched the first episode it's not bad it, it, there's a lot yeah, there's a lot of story to it which is i like i like good story uh there's like there's one chick on there that's super annoying i didn't like but uh, other than that, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool show. Uh, what else am I watching? I started watching Sopranos again. I haven't watched that since like it first came out. I've never watched this. Really? I started watching. I'm on like I watched a few. Two and a half. Day. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever watched one. Yeah, I watched it when they very first came out. They came out right after uh, right after Oz went off, I think. Oz was awesome. It was an awesome show. And uh, that came out. And then Deadwood came on. And I love the hell out of Deadwood. But I, I liked I liked Sopranos. But I, I forgot a lot about it. So I'm watching it. I was like, I don't remember hardly any of this. It was a good show. Good, yeah. Good mob show. Yeah. And I've been playing Mafia too. So kind of keeping up with the theme. No, you haven't been. <laughs> Who wrote playing this? War of Rights. Must have been playing War of Rights. Yeah, we know. But it's actually because like my like it they, they did an update and it kinda messed up the gameplay yeah, a little bit for me. About that the other yeah. day. <laughs> it's like so cool. Yeah. So basically you have uh Who's that? Oh, that's who look for me. Uh 
So basically, you have to go into melee mode in order to use your bayonet or use your rifle as a club. And you're supposed to stay in there until you click melee mode again and it pulls you out of it to where you can shoot and stuff. Uh, but mine, every time you use it, like you have your bayonet on, every time you go to stab somebody, it pulls you out of melee mode. So you have to get back into melee mode, which costs you precious seconds because that's pretty much what you have, especially when you're charging and in the middle of everything. Uh, so that, that sucks. And also, like, they have that like, quick time, which is like marching, and then they have double quick time, which is kind of like jogging, which is where you spend most of your time. Every time I aim, it puts me back into quick time. So you run up to the line, up to a hill, to fire, and you turn around and try to run back, and you're not running, you're just walking, you're like, holy crap, they get you killed. Until I fix that, right? It, I mean, it's still fun. It's still... Like, yeah, I said something right. the other day about... Uh, like, you said you were, like, one of the only people that was having issues with that. Yeah, uh, I asked on there, nobody, nobody says anything, so I guess I'm the only one. I don't know if I'm the only one, but not enough people that seem to be an issue so i don't know i i uninstalled it and reinstalled it let's see if maybe that'll fix it i don't know anyway i've been playing uh i've been so i started back up mafia 2 again keeps good the the remake the what they did with gta but <laughs> mafia the controls are crazy though but yeah anyways Y'all ready to get started with this? He's reading something. No. Person that. Well, article. Political. Um, Gears of War. Oh. See it. Oh. What? What? Uh. Was it Gamer Inks? No. GameSpot. GameSpot. <laughs> I know there's that one uh, channel that they're, everything they write is garbage. I don't know how... Kotaku kind of is a lot. A lot of the stuff they write is garbage. I just kind of, like, scrolled through it. I read a lot of it. Yeah. But, like, this is the... St this person has never played this game. Talking about how... Gears of War is a tool for fascists, basically. Uh, a little political. How Cole is the stereotypical black character, uh, an understandable and unthreatening portrait of black masculinity rendered for a presumable white audience. Are you fucking kidding me? Cole's <laughs> a fucking beast. Yeah. He's one of the best characters on there. Yes. Uh, women appear on screen about two times in total. There's Kate Diaz is the main character of the last two. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's never played it and talking out of their ass. Pretty sure. Yes. Two wrote it. Probably. There's no about. feel stupid just for having read just reading it just <laughs> well here, here, stupid. here, here, here. stupidest thing i've seen here's the thing and this is not just because i'm a gears fanboy yeah skinny yeah, through this this is the stupidest thing i've ever seen cliff Blazinski made this oh really it's not that deep yeah here, here, here's the thing uh a lot of these game game journalists don't want to be game journalists. They want to be actual journalists, well, they but they're not to, good enough. They need to figure out how to be a journalist. They don't have talent, and so they are. They're journalists now they're gaming that. journalists, and so they try to find stuff on games that try to turn them into real journalists, and they're not. They just sound stupid. Yeah. Those the comments. Comments agreeing with them or comments calling them dumb. Oh, dude. Like, one, this is really, really, really smart. And the rest are like, 
No. If you've <laughs> ever played this game, you would not. You're right. Most of them do. They don't play, or I've seen ones that get mad uh, and quell a game because it's too hard. Do you think Gears is the best example of a game that gets better with each entry? No. The last. Gears fell off after two. Yeah. Gears 3 was good, but 2 was better. It's like they're, uh, they're better trying to one. stretch it out, stretch out the story a little too far. Oh, this is a cash cow. Yeah. I mean, they're not bad by any means. Not bad games, but it's not. Yeah, I think 2 was their crescendo. Was their, uh... But yeah, so yeah, I think that's mostly what it is. They they don't want to be game journalists; they want to be regular journalists. But they're not talented enough, so they're stuck with being a game journalist. So let me see how what dirt I can turn up. I was gonna text earlier, and I was gonna see if like what we need to start doing. We need to start doing small little like reviews on games, like in the middle of the middle of the plugin. Oh yeah, you know, like the game review time. We can either each pick a game, or if One like a week. new game comes out, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been like, I haven't really bought any new games. I just bought them lately. Games. Yeah, I feel like this is more or less true for every soldier of any. Anyway, anyway, I got something hurts my head. I got something a lot more lighthearted. Lighthearted? Yeah. Like, good? Yeah. Hopefully. So, it turns out that after 40 years, we're finally getting something that everybody's been wanting. For 40 and I hope years. they do it right. So, apparently, Gas they're is working. Color. That'd be nice. Uh, they're working on a history of the world part two, finally. And it's going to be a series on Hulu. Mel Brooks. Never, Mel Brooks. You've never seen you've never History of the World. You have never seen History of the World. Have you seen Walk this way. And the best part is like when the dude plays uh, uh, Noah and they're trying to cross the, the river and he's like, he puts his hands up and the water's part. The whole thing, they go through and it turns around and he's getting mugged. Yeah, he's I've like, I was a child. Dark. Dude, this is one of the funniest movies ever made. We're watching this. We may watch this tonight. I'm not yes, no, we may I'm watch this tonight. Uh, uh, I don't care. You don't care, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're definitely watching this soon. You can't watch it without me. So I want to watch it again. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It's got like, all it like I it's want got to watch it. Dom DeLuise, that Gregory Hines, it's got Madeline Kahn. Like it's like an all-star cast of the the funniest people that's ever lived. Of course, Leachman. I love Dumb Dead Louise. He's one of my favorites. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so because the 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 movie is called History of the World Part One, and so you've never seen that. What? People are like, where where's Part Two? And they he's always promised. Mel Brooks has always promised. That he was going to do it, and he never did, and now he's finally doing it. Uh, the sequel to the Variety History Prologue came out in 81. Uh, Nick Kroll, Lana Sykes, Mike uh, Ironholt. Nick, Nick Kroll. Evans. Nick Kroll. Nick now, Kroll is funny. They're, co- they're partially writing it. It's mostly being written by Mel Brooks Nick and Kroll produced. Is, Nick Kroll is kind of funny. Yeah. He's the guy who's done the... Uh, Big head, yeah, yeah. And one size can be funny. I've seen her do some funny stuff. Now, the one size is a funny comedic actress, she's not a good stand up, but she, Wanda Sykes, she's a good comedic actress. And so, she's I'm not Wanda Sykes Hall, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, so yeah, so uh, Mel Brooks is, is a writer, the head, the main writer, and executive producer. Uh, he, 95 so this is the first project he's done since 2009 Jeez. yeah <laughs> it's funny because I saw him doing an interview and somebody asked him like so you're 
you're Jewish, and the Jewish people don't really age real well. You know, we just we just don't. It's like we don't you don't see a whole lot of really old Jewish people, especially in their front. There's a Jewish guy asking this, uh, and he's like, uh, "So what's your secret?" And he's like, "Pineapples." He's like, I eat pineapples in the morning. I was like, I have my assistant cut up slices of pineapples in the afternoon. I was like, then I have them chopped up and diced and eat them for supper. He's like, it's pineapples. I was like, God dang, dude. He's, he's still hilarious. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an eight episode series to begin this month, begin shooting this month. Uh, the production slated to begin. Oh, it's, they're right in there now. The uh, production is going to begin in 2022. Uh, ser- <laughs> serving as a direct sequel to the film. So I can't wait to once more tell the real truth about the phony baloney stories that the world has been conned into believing our history. Kirk said. But yeah, anyways, I, I can't wait for that. I, Mel Brooks is one of my all time favorites. Like, he, he's like one of my heroes. Uh, Honest. This sequel series spawns from a joke originally presented at the end of History World Part 1. A mock teaser trailer promising sequences like Hitler on Ice and a Viking funeral. Uh, whether those ideas will be picked up for the series or discarded in favor of new ideas, no one knows. But whatever comes will likely be just as bombastic as the original. Which covered the Stone Age, the Old Testament, the Bible, Ancient Rome, Spanish Inquisition, the French Revolution, featuring cameos from stars like B. Arthur, John Hurt, and Sid Caesar. Oh, Sid Caesar. Uh, for whom uh, Brooks wrote for at the very beginning of his comedy career. I remember he's like, there's like, uh, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh no! It, 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 the song, the, the Inquisition song. Actually, I think nobody expects the Inquisition is a uh, Monty Python. Yeah, Monty Python. I was gonna. But they do the Inquisition. They do the Inquisition. What a show! The Inquisition. Yeah, they do like a tap dance to it. It's freaking hilarious. And then, uh... but yeah, it's it, it's great, and I'm super happy. I'm glad that he is still of sound mind that he can do this. And I hope. I hope. That uh, I hope it's good. I, I bet it will be good if he's head writing it and he's producing it, being the executive producer. I think it'll be good. Yeah, that's all about that. So I, I don't, I'm not saying when it's gonna come out. Probably will be the end of. They're starting production. Or, uh, twenty two. Spring of twenty two. It'll probably be the end of twenty two. Maybe beginning of twenty three. I bet. So I don't know, but I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, all the Mel Brooks films. I love them. Spaceballs, of course. Uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. History of the World. Uh, High Anxiety. Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. But. Yeah, that's it. I just want to mention that. That's definitely some good news. That's all I got on that. Anything? Yeah, come All on. Right. You know how we usually talk about free stuff over here. Free. The free free. Stuff. I am a fan of free games. Whether it's indie games that are free or triple A games that are free. I sign up for these for these passes. Yeah. But I expect something in return. Yeah. And when they deliver, sometimes they freaking. Um so Epic has made it where it's free for a week to get Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, which is supposed to be a DLC. It's now its own standalone game. I have no idea. So it's Borderlands oh. based. And it's like a... Yeah, we uh, watched the trailer for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's talking That's about right. how it's, it's like a D&D thing, but you actually get to play it like it's Borderlands. And it looks like it's so much fun. Hmm. I, it makes me think of Talking Tina. Uh, Twilight Zone. I'm actually, I was in the My room name room. is Talking Dana. And I love because you. Because of Forza. Even up that, that ridiculous thing. Forza's a hundred and one game. 
So my like, name but is when you, when, you, <laughs> when we shut this shit off and you start playing it, you'll see why. And I hate you. Okay, so from now until November 16th at 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, you can get Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep for free. Yes. I already got it because it's free this week. And then next week from Epic, you're getting... Uh, I don't know the name of it. Guild of Dungeoneering, Never Alone, and a kid. Amnesia exhibit. I don't. It's Amnesia. <laughs> Those are creepy games. No, it's it's different. But I don't know. Uh-huh. Um. Basically, it's a turn-based dungeon crawler with card battle mechanics. I'll get it. I'll never play it. But those are two I things. I love free games, and that's those from. Those are two yeah. things you can put in your game to make sure I never play it. Card battles yeah, and turn base. I wish I wish you would. <laughs> Another thing can't. that I just came across, Ubisoft. Is Ubisoft. The Assassin's Creed Chronicles trilogy is free on Ubisoft Connect right now. Nice. So you get China, India, and Russia all for free. Nice. Now I know they're not like uh, your typical... 3D. Assassin's Creed 3D beautiful games. But they're beautiful in their they're own good. and they're side scrollers. I played them on uh, the Vita. Uh, they're good. They're still good games. Yeah. They're still fun. They have four side scrollers. They're freaking fun. They're, they like they're kind of like the throwback to the old Prince of Persia. You can still hide behind doors and stuff. Oh. And the four side scrollers, they're not bad. Stories are real good. Especially the China one. That one's really good. They won. The Russia one is real good. Nice. Go 22 to 10. Damn. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see the picture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, those are fun games, so definitely, you may pick those up. <laughs> but, being as we are talking about video games, mm-hmm. a lot of games have been delayed from this year. Uh, up till the very end of the year or next year. Uh, uh-huh. It was pretty cool. Overwatch 2 is one. The Diablo Overwatch. 4, which everybody's excited for. Yeah, boom. Activision Blizzard been shitting on people this year. Yeah. Last year. Um. Elden Ring was I'm super excited for it and I cannot wait you guys have to get this so we can play this it looks good it looks it looks like really good so much fun especially since George R. R. Martin is part of it like yeah it's gonna be good I cannot wait um the new Rocksmith was delayed oh, I don't yeah. even know that was a thing I didn't either I didn't like the first one I never played the, them. the actual guitar yeah I like was it was kind of cool because I mean, I it would probably be good for people who don't know how to play the guitar. Yeah. Because I mean, if you're trying to learn, it helps you a lot. But like, I'm a intermediate guitar player. Yeah. And like to me, it was like because they make you do so it it jumps. So I I played a song and then I went and then it just jumped to difficult and I was like ah yeah. like no and then it got to the point where you had to pay for songs. And I was oh. Like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, that's a bit much. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna. Um, the Evil Dead. Dead game got delayed until February. Diablo Immortal. Is that the Diablo Immortal. Is that the mobile game <laughs> that pissed everybody <laughs> off? <laughs> Don't you have phones? <laughs> phones? <laughs> Stupid ass. Um, <laughs> Weird cat game. Stray, Crimson Desert, Rainbow Six Extraction uh, was delayed in January 2020. <laughs> So I know the Warhammer games are super popular. Like they have a huge cult following, and I've seen a guy on TikTok who goes over the lore. I never have. What was it? Oh, that was Vermintide. Yeah, there was a uh, one guy who went over the lore. The lore of Warhammer is pretty damn cool. It's in. It's pretty intense. In, yeah. So they talk about people who are like locked into their suits as prisoners. If I was like, that's pretty cool, but uh. I mean, I've never really gotten into them, but I never did. That guy talking about the lore, I was like, I'm actually kind of. The lore is pretty cool. Another one was Ghostwire Tokyo, which is at uh, kind of 
like a horror type uh I don't know what to call it but it's coming early 2022 now I think it was supposed to be the end of this year yeah um God of War Ragnarok was really scheduled to come out at some point this year but it's been delayed till next year as well Skull and Bones, which we've been hearing so much about since like 2017. Yeah, that that man, that's uh, been at E3 a long time ago. Probably not going to come out until the end of next year, I guess. They're going to mess around and make it like um, I forgot what that game was where they uh they announced it and they kept on like, hey, he's coming out, and next year, hey, he's coming out, hey, he's coming out. And people just didn't give a shit about it by the time it came out. <laughs> they just gave up on it. What was a uh, no game with the people with a weird mask? Uh, they look like clowns. Happy? Or no? Yeah. Happy Some, few or something like that? Yeah. Like by the time it came out, nobody gave a damn about it anymore because it's been yeah. delayed so many times. Which is sad. But. Yeah. Um, what else? Lord of the Rings Gollum, <laughs> which I'm kind of excited for. Yeah, that's just like a cool uh, game. Not supposed to come out until there's no definite date, but next year sometime. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I've been excited for this remake for a while. I say remake. I don't know if it's a remake. Or... Okay, this has remakes. Right? I was. I stopped playing. Oh, those are cool games. Those are fun. Dude, I love the Prince of Persia games. Yeah, but once Assassin's Creed came out, I was, didn't Hooks. care about. Yeah, I was like, dude, it's like Prince of Persia, but it's real, and you're fighting real people. People who actually, people who actually right? lived, and you're 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 assassinating them at the place they actually died in the year they died. Yeah. Cool. Like, oh, okay, that, that's cool. And I just never did look back. And then Harry, uh, dude, I can't. Part of freaking Hogwarts, Hogwarts legacy. I am so excited wait for, this for that game. You probably care less. You're not a huge Hogwarts hey, or Harry Potter fan. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to buy two copies of this so that I can play. Um, <laughs> uh, if it's if it's multiplayer, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I gotta give me a PS5 before that comes out. Uh, it doesn't say when, but it's late till next year as well. Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. I want to play that too. Look to that one. I'm yeah. That game looks cool. Um, Dying Light Two. I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah, it's been moved to February of next year. Magmata. That one's been moved to 2023. Destiny Two: The Witch Queen delayed into 2023. I've never been a huge. I played a little bit of Destiny Two. Not huge, not, it's not, I played a lot of it's Destiny. fun, but we played that one game that was basically Destiny. Yeah, yeah. It's I never did feed, <laughs> I never did beat. Yeah, we never did. I still remember that fucking spider, and you guys abandoned me. <laughs> I think we got kicked, didn't we? You did. Yeah. Like right as like, we oh, were in there. Yeah. The fire spider. Yes. Yeah. And then it was just me. <laughs> I mean, it lasted a while, but yeah. Fuck, that was terrible. And one more thing that's been delayed, and a lot of people are, or they're not excited. So it's a thing called Playdate. I'm sure, we talked about this before. I think we did. It's uh, kind of like uh, it's kind of like a Game Boy in like old Game Boys. So you. <laughs> Here. It's got an actual hand crank, and I'm pretty sure that's what that's what powers it. It's got a D pad and an A and B button, so it's kind of like it's kind of like the uh, the Game Boy. It's it's cool. It was weird. I don't know how. I think it's going to be a fad. I think I think people get it at first. I don't think it's going to last for long because you know how much you're probably going to have to crank that some bitch up and get it to go. It's like those flashlights. You can charge it with with uh, USB as well. Oh. Like if all you gotta do is crank it up, dude. You have to crank the thing for three minutes in order to get the screen's just black and white. I don't know. I'm kind of like it's. It's a cool concept. It's a mixture of like yes and no, like. But part of this crank you can use in game. Oh, you see? Okay, it? yeah. Oh, that's something I'm gonna eat. So I mean, it's innovative. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll find out. It's a cool concept. Just about uh, it's probably gonna go the way it was like a gimmick. Yeah, so it was initial uh, release was supposed to be, I think, either November or December this year. It's been pushed into next year. Huh. And that's the second half of next year. 
probably Christmas. Yeah, they, they're gonna say that's that'd be the best bet to save it for the Christmas rush, because tons of moms and mm-hmm. people will buy it for the kids for Christmas. Not got you the new Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> what new Game Boy? Oh God, I gotta crank it up. <laughs> Shit, mom. A lot of thanks. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got for those. Did you got anything? Uh, I just have the whole GTA thing. What about that? Out. Um, GTA thing. Obviously, uh, if you guys didn't know, because I'm sure nobody's been talking about it at all for the past <laughs> fucking month, um, the GTA Remastered Trilogy came out today. Nice. Yeah, well, that, that, that fucking worked. penguin just make a noise? That worked out just on Xbox. Oh. I was like, that was like right on time too. What the, what the fuck? The GTA to drop. <laughs> uh, yeah, the GTA Remastered trilogy came out today. I played, I played about three or four uh, hours. Th- no, I played about three or four missions from each one. Oh, yeah. uh, just kind of checking it out, do a little bit of thing. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, it looks real good. And it looks very very good. Um, yeah. I say I played it. three or four. I probably played about six missions on San Andreas just because I'm just. Think I messed up. Yeah. Wait, it's not on here. Oh, I'm gonna say, are we not alive anymore? So Grant, I thought it was supposed to download to this Xbox. I think it went to the Xbox. But yeah, it uh, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, yeah. there, obviously, it's it's not a remake. Yeah. People are touting it as a remake. It's like, like a. It's a remaster. I don't even know if I'd call it a remaster. It's they honest. just so they paid. Just somebody, it up a little they bit. They paid somebody to make a mod. Um, pretty much is all it was. Are we dead? Oh, there we go. Uh. Oh, it's good. That's what it's like. But yeah, they um. Uh, it looks really, really. I mean, all all of them. Like uh, I, GTA three. Probably got the brunt of it, like the worst of it, just because it's, it's the oldest one. Yeah. Um, it's still, it doesn't look bad. The rain looks kind of weird. Oh, really? Um, like, really heavy all the time. No. So, and it's really visible. Like, super visible, so it's kind of, it looks odd, because it's just like the Matrix. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> but the cars handle uh, a lot better. Oh, that's good. Uh, you can tell, because like, because I don't know they... if you remember, but... Uh, on like GTA three, there was no like power sliding or anything. You were like, Hur, yeah. Hur, Hur. Now that you, I was playing earlier. I was sliding around corners and stuff. No, really nice. I was drifting in like Vice that. City. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, see, look, you can see the people. They, they have fingers. Yeah, they do not. Just, they don't have. The, they don't have the GTA claw. Yeah, the lobster the GTA claw. claw. Um, oh, but nice. hold on, go back to that one. Look at the. Oh, let me look, pull it up on the. I was gonna say, look at the, uh, the look at the spray can. Like you see, like the paint all over the nozzle. See how detailed that is. Oh yeah, yeah. Like there's paint all over the nozzle. There we go. They updated all the textures and stuff on it. Obviously, it's not gonna look fantastic. So like yeah, some right. of the characters look really like, dopey. These games are like thirty years old almost. Yeah. But uh. Make you feel old. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, like. Like, just the fact that they look so like, much better. San Andreas came out what? I'm kind of glad that they kept the old aesthetic to it. I think so. They just cleaned up the old aesthetic to make it look no. nicer. Yeah, but... look, look how good this fire. They might yeah. have been older. I think they're older. The 3 is like 2000, 2001. Yeah, yeah. 3 is. Yeah, look at the detail. You can even see police under there. Like, it looks normal. Yeah. The fire, the looks, fire good. looks good. The fire looks good. Um. <clears throat> Where is... Oh, yeah, 2004, you were right. For San Andreas? San Andreas. <laughs> yes, so, yes. But, uh, yeah, like... Not sold separately. Why can't I get all of them, then, if they're not sold separately? Game Pass! But, yeah, uh... Shouldn't take you that long, because they're not super big. Uh... Um... But yeah, they they look fantastic. They really do. They the driving is a little bit better. The animations are all We're pretty much to be the like, same. Uh, it's just it, really right? touched up. The the controls are pretty close um, to five. There's a weapon wheel now. Oh, good. You know what is, I really wish, which is cool. This was on Game Pass, right? It'd be so convenient. But they uh yeah the or you need to get Game Pass. By the way. Yeah, I'm tired of telling you. 
It's a dollar a month right now. For now? Well, I think for the first month, right? Think it's a dollar, dollar for the first, first month, month, and then it's like nine something a month. I think the that. PC version is nine or ten dollars. Well, I think, I think Ultimate there's is a variation 16. That you can get for either one. <clears throat> But yeah, it's uh, but yeah, so far they look good. Um, they play good. I haven't run any issues yet. I haven't played them a whole lot. I'll probably go home and play them here a little bit, but uh, play them a little more. Yeah, but they look really good. The the you know not only just the character models, but the textures and stuff are insane. You get like day one game, for, yeah, dude, for free for free, and you can cloud game. I mean, eventually, oh, he can't cloud. I can't cloud. Game. He's gonna have the same shit. Fuck the internet, problem with me. Like what, what? Name a game that you mm-hmm. always wanted to play. You never. I don't know. I've played most games on Xbox lately. New Vegas, huh? I played that, but I played that on. You haven't played the new Gears games? No, I haven't played the new Gears. Um, Master Chief Collection includes all of this. That's Halo. One, two, three. ODST, four. Infinite when it comes out. Just, just cost four. Like, Game Pass is doing it right. So much better than PS. You know what game I tried to play the other day? Huh. I couldn't find it anywhere. I was mad. Brothers in Arms. Oh yeah, you remember those games? Yeah, yeah. The, like World War II games. the better Call of Duty games. Yeah, when we were kids. The Call of Duty kind of took it over because uh, Brothers in Arms always had the better story, but Call of Duty had the vehicles and stuff that you could drive, mm-hmm. and that was kind of the difference. Oblivion. Yeah, Oblivion. Morrowind is Saboteur. on here, bro. Yeah. Morrowind. So crazy to me. Saboteur is a good game until you beat it, and that sucked as soon as you beat it. Bro, I can't look at that and not get, like, a little sad. Yeah. Unravel 2. I kind of want to play it again. We Happy Few, that's what you were talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the Kikuza game. You do or you don't? Don't. I've tried to play it. I have to. It's too arcadey. I don't like uh, super arcadey games, and they're way too arcadey. I really gave it a go. I think it was zero two that I played. Yeah, I I, I see why people like them. I mean, I'm not they're not bad games by any means. It's just not for me. Yeah, that's I'm I'm more of a simulator type person. Like the fighting is real arcadey. The dri- uh, I don't know if it was driving. I don't remember. It was driving, but Bassmaster, bro. Oh Bassmaster. No, I was playing something. I don't remember. Fuck, I was playing not Bassmaster. Game. It was a fish portal. That's bridge control. Oh. Do the portal games? I've only ever played those at uh at at uh, the the game convention. Every Doom game you can imagine. Doom. Bro. Yeah, game every Pass every Doom, Doom game, ride. like the original Doom game, I'm pretty sure is on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. Yeah. This is Doom yeah. 1993. Yes, the original. <laughs> you see that guy that modded the Doom, the original Doom game, to where it was all Tim Taylor, Tim the Toolman Taylor. You're going, uh, 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 you going, he the houses, the whole walls are Tim Tool, Tim Taylor, uh, 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 and then the 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 monsters that come around, they they all got Tim's face, uh, uh, and then you shoot the Fallout Tim's face two? at them. So stupid. Fallout 2? Fallout 2? Really? I played the first one and I hated it. Well, the first one was top down. Yeah. I don't like it. It was like, not like yeah, this. Yeah. Right? I didn't like top down. Top See, down. I thought it was the same. Fallout right there. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. Rad Scorpions. Rad Bro. Scorpion. What I want to know, though, is all these games are supposed to take place in the same era, right? Yeah. It's just well, different people. How are these all these people such badasses, like, haven't met? They take you know place in mean? different times, different time frames in the same era. I never beat four. Did you beat four? 
Yeah, uh, yeah. So I've only beat it once, so I didn't. I haven't played it after. I, I, I enabled cheats and I beat it in like two hours. <laughs> the actual. I heard the actual story. Like, if you just focus on the story, you didn't even. Have, I didn't even focus on the story. I just went to this base and then I went and started killing people and then I ended up killing the right person and they're like, "Oh, hey, go here. Oh, hey, the invasion's happening. Credits. Oh, hey, we did this. Yeah." And then was, I was like, "Oh." Do all those games like that? I was like, okay. I always do all the side missions, so that when I finally get to the main story, That's I'm like super tactics. badass. Yeah, like OB and just blow through it. These are the games I wish Drew. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Me. I tried to play Seven the other day on here, but I had to delete it because part of it. Gang Beast. That's the one I think would be fun for us all to play. Get Game Pass if we play it. Bish. Bish. There was a game on here that they were advertising, and I saved it to my Game Pass because I was going to play it, but I don't remember what it was. Killing Fire. But it looked pretty cool. Like a post apocalyptic, but there's no zombies. Nice. Trying to, like, See. Survive. Here's where I, I, I want something different. It's yeah. I want something like I want post apocalyptic, but I want something else to be called it, like aliens. Yeah. I might be alright. I just want, I just like fighting humans. I like killing your old humans. Yeah, well. I don't care about fighting mo big monsters or or fighting. That's, not, that's one of the reasons I think, I think that I really like Far Cry a lot because you're, I mean, you fight animals too, which is fine because you find the wildlife. But you're not fighting gigantic beasts and zombies and all that stuff. You're just fighting people. Well, I wish. And that's I, I get a lot more six. involved in those stories. Okay. I got something. I've been trying to play Far Cry 6 for like a month and a half now. I thought you... Oh, I forgot. One you more did thing. get it. Okay, you did get start. it. Outcast. Game came out in like 1999. <laughs> Is free on good old gaming for a limited time. The third person action adventure Ew. that was the game when you want to show off how just how powerful your 3D effects Voodoo Accelerator card was is currently available for free on good old gaming. Nice. I don't know what it's about. I've never played it, but I've always wanted to. This is free. Yeah. Now you have the chance. If I have my... Hey, well, I got some more good news. So, uh, I remember around this time last year, maybe a little bit later last year, uh, it was around this time, we got a super pissed because Apple decided oh, to show, yeah, to snatch up all the Charlie Brown movies and not make them available, except for two days that you got to watch them on Apple TV for free, but then you had to subscribe to Apple TV. Yeah, but... Subscribe. And so I was really pissed. So pissed about that that I was even thinking about. I had I have an iPhone. Like, I was even thinking about getting rid of my iPhone because it's just corporate bullshit. Uh, tired of. This year, they are releasing them back on TV. So you get to watch them again. So it's like 50 years, like, this thing's been on TV. And Apple's like, nope. You got your bitch. You can't watch these no more. It was like two days. Yeah, and they gave you two, two days, days to watch it for free. And then which you had to subscribe. And then they hounded you to subscribe until you did. Or And so uh, the long so part. they finally put them back on syndication. Thank God. After, I guess, I'm, I'm guessing they got a bunch of backlash for it. I'm sure they did. Cause that's some bullshit too. I'm sure they did. But the Halloween special aired uh, in October, October 24th. That was back on TV. Uh, let's see what the... The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, will air this month. November 21st at 7.30. And Charlie Brown Christmas will be Sunday, December 19th at 7.30. They've received, uh, so Apple TV received a par partnership. Uh, uh, the PBS. So you'll be able to watch them again on PBS. So that's good news. You release those things, let us freaking watch them. You jerk faces. You know what made them think so that was a good cool. idea? Yeah, come back to public syndication. 
Amazing. It's nice. Like even if you don't watch them, it's kind of just comforting to know that they're there. And right. I do. I Let do. Be honest, we watch. I don't watch them every year, but I, I like watching them. Some, uh, if I see them, I'm like, oh yeah, let's watch this. It's we watch nice wholesome t- television <laughs> every year. We watch a Christmas story on 24 hours. Oh yeah. What is that? TBS. Yeah. I do too. That's pretty much the only. At least watch it once. Oh, it's on that channel. It doesn't change. Not really. I hide the remotes every Christmas. <laughs> and my dad's like, "How we watch something else?" And I'm like, "Because <laughs> we do Christmas over here because we have more space, yeah. it's more open and stuff." It's just funny. Oh, yeah, I love that movie. That's it. Makes my day. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. I don't think I have anything else. Well, since we're on the holidays and we're talking about Far Cry, we'll one more. Uh, so if you're having problems finding a PS5, which yeah, it's gonna be even harder this holiday. Good, and here's why: supply and logistic constraints have impacted many different industries across the world, and video games are not. <laughs> According to Bloomberg. Sony has increased its five PS5 production outlook for this fiscal year because of shortage of components and logistical concerns. Sony has previously set a goal for more than 16 million PS5 units being assembled by the end of the fiscal year of, in March 2022. So it could hit about 14.8 sales. What they're looking at, looking for. Um, however, Sony now reportedly cutting its production goal down to 15 million. So it's going to be more difficult, in theory, to hit the, their sales target. So here's what I'm thinking. And this is what I've seen across several social media platforms. Uh, several big companies that have been able to get their hands on them yeah. are hoarding them. Walmart, yeah. Target. Best Buy. <laughs> get it. People have been uh, going into people's back rooms and they're on the shelves in the back. Oh, yeah. The warehouse, I've seen a video from the warehouse in Walmart. Pallet full. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're looking to sell them uh, this Black Friday. This, yeah. This coming holiday. Yeah. And for them to do that, that's, that's messed up. Shitty. That's pretty shitty. I'm not 100% on this. I don't know if it's just speculation. I wouldn't put it past them. But I don't doubt it. I really don't. But dude, what I, how I got my Xboxes, I just funded like two or three Twitters. And they would notify. I'd set on my notifications, and they would say, "Hey, so and so is going to have a drop in about ten minutes." And so I, once they did that, I just got on that website and just waited. <laughs> and they would say it's live, and then I just boop boop, and it went through, and I went, "Oh, we're good." <laughs> I got lucky enough to be here. I mean, you think about it. You don't want to be. I mean, if the other stores are doing it, you don't want to be the one store that doesn't have PS Five, yeah, or yeah. Xbox yeah. Six. Yeah, so, you know, so if you even think the other stores are doing this, then you're gonna I do it too because like, you don't want to be left out of the Black Knight, Black Knight, Black, uh, Black Friday, Black Friday race. I feel like that's. I heard even Verizon me. is selling them like in their stores now. Uh, they're gonna start selling PS fives in their stores. Let's find out. I I just I ran across that I think today actually. Horizon is going to start selling PS5 consoles. I don't yeah. Know. This is from Game Rant. Why is there a fucking ad blocker on it? Ever installed it? Did you put an ad blocker on it? I don't know. Three hundred and sixty days after. Has it been that long? Damn. Three hundred and sixty-three days. I'm gonna yeah. Whole year. Impossible yeah, to find limited, limited stock. Shh. A lot of these companies, though, they're they're. I, I hate to say that, but they're doing it like it's genius what they're doing. They're taking them and bundling them. Mm-hmm. You get this by phone with this and this and this. right. Yes, yeah. by phone in the contract with Verizon. Then we give you a hundred dollars off a uh, PS5 that we have in the store. We can give it to you right now. Right. Why is this a thing? Why do we have to check restocks? Why not just have Sony and and Microsoft build a whole bajillion of them, 
that they know are working, don't have to worry about the, the chip you know, shortage, mm-hmm. supply shortage. And they put them out at once like they've been planning on anyway. But then when you think about it, $15 million is not that much. No. Not for the world. No. <laughs> the entire globe. Yeah. I think you have us, you have Mexico, you have Canada, you have Japan, you have China. Russia. Yeah, Europe. Does Russia get this stuff? Yeah. We're Russia. not third world. No. I mean, the same thing like China. They get it. And just restricted, probably. Yeah. I, I just think they did it all kind of early. Yeah. Because they released the PlayStation before they released the Xbox, right? Yeah. So, it was I, like a, and I think I think Microsoft maybe? was like, well, we got to do it. They're doing it. Yeah. So, I think that's what happened. But, I like, also, but also, on the other hand, I know that Xboxes are a hell of a lot easier to get a hold of. Yeah. So, they were like, it's because it sucks. I'm like, yeah, well, enjoy not playing on PS5, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> yeah, right? I, I don't think it sucks. I think they were on their way a little bit more. Even then, enjoy they were not finished. playing PS5 because you can't get one while I see here with my Xbox. Yeah. And I, I'm not a I'm not a brand exclusive kind of guy. I have both. Oh, I don't have a PS5 right now, but yeah. I, I can't, can't fucking get one. Like I said, they'd have waited. Probably would have been better for everyone. Mm-hmm. But... That, they gotta do something about these fucking scalpers, dude. Yeah. I got like That's 30 nice. of them in there. Only sell them in fucking person and yeah. then one per customer. Right. They're gonna have some. Or do the whole bullshit that they've been doing here recently with the. If you have a PS account and it's active, um, we'll send you an email for a voucher. Oh, yeah. yeah and so much and you can only buy one of them. Yeah. You know? All right, like for 30 days, you can only buy one, or 60 days, you can only buy one. Yeah, so that would be a good idea. I gotta figure out something to do because that's getting ridiculous. Yeah. Like those fucking mini fridges, they did the same thing. The Xbox mini fridges. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They ordered those. <laughs> now they're trying to sell them for $1,000, and they're $100. Yeah, bucks. I, want one, one, no. um, I knew that shit was You go fuck yourself. That's why I don't get new shit. Yeah. Like I said, like, I, I didn't even. Meh. I was about the Xbox. I was like, if I get one, I get one. If I don't, I don't. I almost bought a PlayStation uh, yeah. from Best Buy, but I was like, well, I shouldn't. So I took it out of my cart. <laughs> and I was like, well, fuck it, I'll do it. And then I went back and it was out. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Even then, like, it's funny too, because people were like, well, yeah, because I'm when I get a PlayStation, I'm just gonna get the digital edition. Oh yeah. Because one, it's cheaper, and two, I physical game. I'm a physical game kind of person, depending on the game. Honestly, yeah, me too. I, I have too much fucking clutter. Like a GTA Six, yeah, I'll buy physical. But, I'm surprised you didn't get a physical copy of the ring. No, because the, the, the physicals don't come out till the seventh of December. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna play now. I can wait another month. What a loser! <laughs> but no, for real. Uh, I don't know that I'd ever be able to have just a disc. Like I have that for Steam and stuff. Yeah. But like for certain games, I want a physical copy. Yeah. Just to say that I have it. Yeah. Half the shit you gotta fucking install it anyway. And that's my thing is I can switch between all these games just like boop 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 boop. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I can I can go oh fuck I'm playing GTA ah I want to play some Valhalla oh I don't have to take the disc out put the disc in. So, yeah, I, don't, I don't mind that little extra step. Cause... Well, also, my, my Xbox is behind my fucking TV, so... <sighs> All my stuff's right there. I mean, it's easy to get to, it's just... Which sucks, but... Yeah. It is what it is. But Far Cry 7 is gonna be a service game. They're already... did fucking 6 just came out! I know. It's gonna be a live Stop. service game similar to Assassin's Creed Infinity. I'm, I'm not gonna like that. I don't like that trend. Uh, yeah. That's, that's That gives them an excuse to not... Not release the game in shit. full. Yeah, come out with new shit and charge you. Yeah, for... they're going to release it in pieces. Like, oh, it's a live service, so we're not. You were doing it on purpose. Like, no, motherfucker. Put yeah, I just found an excuse. Me the actual game. Yeah, fuck him with my life. That just gives them an excuse to not ha- to put out an incomplete game. Like, well, this game is incomplete, and now they're like, well, it's a live service, so you know. It's supposed to be like that, and we'll give you the rest of it as it comes. Far Cry 6 only just released in October, and Ubisoft plans to support the game with lots of DLC and updates over time, so the company is unlikely to discuss any future projects anytime soon. 
Yeah. Well, they're already discussing this, and if it's a thing and it becomes more and more of a thing with other companies, I'm going to hate it. Give me the next microtransaction. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure that's what it's going to be. You're going to get, like, pay for a year of it and then have to pay another year. Maybe. I'm play this every fucking year. Yeah. And if they do that, I'll... Give me a Stop story. Stop playing fucking games. <laughs> right. Put our game out. That's complete. Yeah. It's late. It's it lazy. lazy. People are bitching about, speaking of stuff like that, people are bitching about the, the remasters, the GTAs. Uh-huh. Um, people are like, I hope they patch this. And like, patch what? It's been fucking 12, 13 years on these games. Yeah. And I'm like, well, just take it as it is. Like, because people were expecting full fucking remakes. People are so That's, stupid. Uh, why would they do that? They were not going to do that. They're working on the six. Work? What? The original hmm? still Most of them. I think they had to take they, a couple yeah, out because they won't work. But, but yeah. They, I read yeah, that. They, I was watching a stream, and dude was doing all the cheats. If you do the Konami code, it'll uh, give everybody big heads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the same as they used to be? Yeah. See? Full health... Nice. I want the tank. I want a tank. Circle, circle, L1, circle, 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 L1, L2. <laughs> nice. R1, triangle, I miss those old. Triangle. Yes! Those old codes. These games are going to the Switch? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I I read that today apparently, too. they don't look great on the Switch. I doubt it. Nothing looks great. All right. Well, we appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with us. I don't think anybody chatted with us this time. But, uh,. You're watching this. We appreciate you watching us. But uh, but we'll catch y'all next time. We appreciate you go check out our merch store. Uh, like and leave a share, or mm-hmm. share and leave a like. <laughs> like and leave a like and leave a like. Leave a comment. Share yeah, leave a comment. Uh, what you thought of uh, these topics? Check out some F and W Thursday night. We have a pay per view coming up next week. The Six Feet Under. That's good. Get your free games. Today, don't run out. Don't wait before they're gone. These games, these games are like phenomenal games that I mentioned earlier. So go get them. Uh, even if you don't ever want to play them, put them in your library. Maybe they'll be worth something. Yep. All right, we appreciate y'all hanging out. We'll catch y'all next week sometime. We'll keep up on social media. We'll we'll announce it. All right, I'm Cinema Drew. I'm Jelly Hubby. Isaac goes eight. We're having gaming. And you should be. Do? Was that a poo? It was.